<clears throat> oh, good evening, Tom Ash. How's it going? Visual depression and stuff, nice. Yeah, good shit. Ah, just the usual. Pain. And sorrow. <laughs> uh, fuck, okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the... Since it's right here. At the tree. Oh, this, this is gonna be some romantic shit, right? Because, uh, tree, trees and shit. <laughs> yeah, I took my horse to go to meters I know, yes. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. That me after playing the Did game? You no. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed ride to be hours ago. Oh god damn. So what happened to him? Come on, let's go look for him. Come on. Come on. Let's see if we Come can on. find the old goat. Old goat. Wow. Speak how you watch about your father. Let's go. Let's go. I've got a bad feeling about this. Are you Obi Wan Kenobi? For so long. Don't worry. I don't. Wait. Not I'm not sure. Yeah, that's it. That's his line. Father can still handle himself just fine, Mr. McFarland. You feel like an Mr. McFarland. You're probably right. So yeah, this weekend I'm I gonna do an Xbox you. stream. He's all I've got. Um, I'm not oh. like. Super confident in my PC right now, like my streaming PC, because like last time it blue screened and I still haven't had the time to to check what's wrong. <coughs> so like if it happens to, to blue screen, I'll just you know continue because it's gonna be just a professional casual casual gaming. Haven't done a good old Xbox stream in a while, you know. Play a few games. Well, maybe just two, but I don't know, two for sure. Like, as an OG Xbox, not 360. Who? Where? I don't see anyone. Where? What? What did we see? Oh. Going back? What could have happened to those poor men? Well, that was a the good mission. Who could have done something like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the it's like the most popular or most often happening blue screen of death as well. I'm not sure if it if it's just a random thing, but yeah, it's the um, what did it say? It's like uh, uh, it's the one with the non-paged area, like like memory. Memory pool something non-paged area. I forgot whatever that, that one. <coughs> I've seen that a few times already. Oh shit! It's on fire. Do we have water in the middle of Arizona? How are we gonna do that? We're gonna piss all over it or something? How are we gonna do this? Oh sorry, Bonnie. I think. Oh oh come on! This is fucking retarded, dude. Like. <coughs> Fuck off. Hello, mushed. Hey, boy, howdy, Mesh! This is like GTA 4. This is like T. This is like basically like T Lad, but like. Oh, come on! I just. I can't fucking believe this game, dude. Just watch out the fucking way, dude. 
yeah, I don't want to switch to 10 just because uh, it's uh, it's automatic updates. And also, uh, I've had uh, many issues with 8.1. I've been using 8.1 mainly, and I fucking hate it. It's, it's the most fucking broken operating system since Vista. <clears throat> Okay, what are we gonna do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I can do it. So like, we just... This one? The, the flaming one. Oh no, that one. What's that, what's that game I wanted to play? It's a... Uh, it's like some horror game that kind of was like hated. It's it's also I think it's also Wild West. I'm not sure, but since I'm already playing Wild West games, might as well you know play another one. It's the uh, e evil evil something evil within. Is that the game? Evil within, right? I think I want to play that one. Maybe we'll see. What do you do? Slide down, you idiot. Oh, they swapped it from... Oh, come on. Like, it used to be A in GTA 4, and this one it's... It's Y. So what do I do? Just open it? Okay. There you go. Uh, you're welcome. You gonna die? I have to get the horses out. Smack that goddamn horse! We ain't no goddamn no NASCAR nice racer right here, mate! Give it a nice flap! Hell yeah, dude! Yeehaw! Get your ass out of here! Let's go! How do you jump? Oh, okay. There we go, we saved all the horse I. So it can collapse now. Because we don't have water. Go and look for Bonnie by the pen? What? Oh. Okay. She's gonna be crying, right? I'm drinking her tears. It's like for the 17th time I saved the, the wrench. You're gonna. You're gonna do something for me now. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened. Indians. Oh God. White trash can be pretty frightening. Poor father. They don't frighten me. Hello, my name is Rajesh. Today I'll show you how to root Samsung Galaxy S5 phone with. Root now help. Android you saved my life. And he's like, get the fuck out of here. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up and sell me some cattle, I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. It'd be my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, well, well get some rest. You get some rest. Unless this whole thing I'm catches on fire and <laughs> keep This is. Hello, my name is John Ratish. Today I will show you how to install root on your phone. This works. T 2017 works. 100% works. 100% <laughs> works. I'm from India, by the way. <laughs> oh god. Yeah! Well, get, get, get some, uh, get some rest, Kappa. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to, uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, 
Marshall. Yeah, we could. Who's the S again? Seth. I have no idea who that is. We've never seen him before. S or M? You decide. I'll just go towards the general direction, and then he can decide. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I can stop it. I can stop it. I, can, I don't have to pick up that that flower. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. La 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 la. I don't need it. I don't need it. <coughs> Hopefully, I won't get <clears throat> into the, uh, the canyon again because I fucking hate it. Oh, I'm already turning left. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm a professional NASCAR gamer now. I'm turning left. Oh no, there's a right turn. God damn it. I don't know how to handle this. Have I tied up anyone yet? No. Nope. This goddamn horse now has no fucking uh, 500 horsepower like a like a fucking Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car. Come on, horse. Is this the, the chick we met before? Yeah, yeah, no. I, I don't actually know. Hello. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? Dear, oh dear. Uh, I don't actually... I don't know. I, I don't like um, smoked cheese that much. I prefer non-smoked. What up? Everything alright, madam? It's Miss... Oh! <gasps> Oh, let me look at you. Miss? Goddamn. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? Who? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait! I beg you! Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day! Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. All right. <laughs> so you want me <coughs> to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes. Please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Armadillo. Okay, so he's gonna be an armadillo. Just go there. And we'll find him. And fucking murder him. Alright, horsey. This is Armadillo, though, right? Uh, yeah. Saloon. I'm gonna be in the saloon. Talking to the musicians. Yeah! Get up, you're on! Power range! What? The movie? What the fuck? Is that like a camera icon or something? Is it a camera? That's a camera. What the fuck? Whatever. <coughs> Alright, 
where did the saloon at? Oh, so this one, right? Yeah. Oh, you can watch movies. Right, where the fuck is this man? Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. The fella's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Oh. Well, let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Oh, I'll just pull the uh, the or chair you out. Could. Run a little errand for me. Chair under her his ass. What do ass. you need done? <coughs> <It's not working. coughs> <coughs> the dumb wince is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. Mm -hmm. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now you'll need more than talk, that bitch. Oh, I can do more than just talk. You'll see. Where is she? This, this one? Yeah. Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless, whore-mongering bastard sent you, get low! Holy shit. Miss, please. If only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse, the way I see it, you should give it one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Oh, I know the marshal. We're, we're good buddies. <coughs> what? Hawktie and threaten. Oh shit. Um. <laughs> Wait. What the hell happened here? What a! It's a fine, fine horse. Um <laughs> Well, there's gonna be a new decoration for his amazing town. All right. <coughs> oh shit, this is gonna fucking run away. Yo. Yo, fucking, she's fast. Holy shit, can I slow her down with a gun? I wonder. Like, um... Like a, like a gun, you know. Dude, what the fuck? Come here. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Come here. Alright. I'm gonna try to tie her up, maybe? There we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I throw her in front of the train? That would be pretty fun. Alright. This is how you get women, dude. This is the uh, the professional way. Wish it was that easy. This this day and age. I mean, some people still do this. Like Arabic people have to do this shit. Put a bag over her head and then kidnap her. <laughs> ah, we're not that far. A little a little walk won't hurt. It's all fine.
By the way, this thing was was here all along. Why was she like waiting? I wonder. I wonder. <coughs> Here we are, dude. Where is he, though? Wait. Wait. Where's the dude? Is that the dude? No, that's a cook. Is it this? This? Or what? Where? Where's the dude? Where do I? What? Where? The? What the fuck? Hang on, again, damn second. Kappa. Okay, this is my horse. Where's the dude that I need to deliver? Him? Are you fucking serious? Shut up. <clears throat> Honor a hundred. Scott rose to her husband. But where the fuck is her husband? Oh come! On. I mean, I know this game is fucking broken as fuck. Like the first time you're starting to have fun, the game has to do some shit like this. Are you for fucking real? Where is this dude? Where the fuck is he? Oh my god. Is this the dude? No, that's not it. I don't fucking know. Oh shit. <coughs> that hand there. Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll like right away and then come back and then we'll see. Come on. <clears throat> it doesn't even seem like I'm on a mission. I mean... Shouldn't I be on a mission right now? Like, it should say... Okay, I can kind of see now. Okay. That should be good. Here's your wife, mister. Mister, I don't even know. <clears throat> Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella, you know. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. So where is he now? What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at odd fella's rest. Yeah. That's where he'd be, I guess. Odd fellows rest. That must be the cemetery, probably. And where is that? Odd fellows rest. Is it a cemetery? It's like he fucking died, most likely. Uh, where do I find that?
Where am I supposed to go now, dude? Odd fellows rest. Odd fellows rest. I think that's like something else, the other purple things, because I picked up more side missions. So he hasn't been in Armadillo, he's you know, Armadillo though, he said, so he's gonna be off somewhere. But what? what Odd, odd what, what again? It's in Chola Springs. Oh. Okay. I don't know the map very well, so yeah. You know. I kind of remembered like a small settle settlement around town, but I didn't know where it was because I, I, I don't know the map. Can you jump over? There we go. Oh, come on, dude. If you zoom in the map, oh, it does. Nice. Oh, there's the hanging rock I was looking for. Thanks, potential lunatic. Because there's like a kid there or something, or maybe there. Um, American appetites. What the fuck? So what am I looking for again? Odd, oh, there we go. So we're looking for this one. Yeah, can I place a marker? There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Wait, where the fuck is the mar- Why is it trying to tell me to go on the road? To the complete opposite way? Huh. Maybe I was going the complete opposite way, that's why. Alright. No, shut the fuck up, I'm not going there. Let's go. Load up now. Day 3. Dear Diary, I'm still not a NASCAR racer. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what goddamn fucking thing going on here. No cars, dude. GPS in 1912. <laughs> I mean, I'm expecting that dude to be in a fucking cemetery, dead. And I'm like, why even bother going there? Just tell her she's, he's dead. But like, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe he's not even dead. Oh, never mind. It's a fucking cemetery. Of course it is. Ah, oh, so the the old lady just basically made us run around for nothing because it's fucking dead. Oh, hey, there's a car. Is it? What the fuck? Here we are, dude. 1894. So it died quite a while ago. He will never dance with another. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Complete a task of a first stranger. Cool. <sighs> Wait, it's completed? I don't have to go back to the lady? That's interesting. Who's this? Jenny Faith. Oh, this is the, the chick I saw. I guess I can talk to her. Since we're here. Yes. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Oh, isn't this the chick from the train? Um, I'm thinking. Yeah, she is. Yes. Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, uh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. What's up, nerd? Uh, I don't know, man. I haven't I found have a fucking faith. car yet. I'm working on it. That's a whole point. I was driving left. I was turning left for quite a while, but then a right turn came, so I failed. Oh, no. I can't do anything. But with faith... I 
can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. What's up, Shadow Duck? How's it going, dude? such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things she didn't need to talk. She didn't need to move. She had faith. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. She had well, had faith. Take care, then. Huh? I think I have medicine, don't I? There we go. Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. Excuse me? You see... It was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I'm in heaven. <coughs> Religion, making our world a better place. <laughs> uh. That was not a crime. Wait, was it? Why they were shooting? Oh, come the fuck on! Stupid fucking game. Whatever. Who's that even? Wait. Is that the... Oh. Is that... Oh, what the fuck? Where am I going? This fucking game is retarded. Where... What? What? Go, dude! Oh my fucking god, this game. Yep, that's... That's rip. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on! Oh, come the fuck! Fuck on, this fucking game is retarded as fucking all hell. Fuck this game, dude. I was enjoying it for five seconds. I'm not enjoying it. It's fucking trash, dude. The fuck this game. What the fuck? It probably didn't save after any of those side missions, probably. Right? So I have to redo all of them. This fucking game sucks, dude. I, I, I basically haven't even done anything yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's not the right game. What the fuck? How, why did it start fucking burnout? Are you retarded, dude? Oh my god. Fuck me, dude. What the fuck? Like, I, I probably have done nothing in this stream so far, right? Except that, like, one or two missions at the start. No, just one mission at the start, yeah. Because I don't think it auto-saves. After side missions, most likely. Unlike GTA 4. GTA 4 auto-saves after side missions. Let's see if it does. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna fucking kill myself, dude.
You are very lucky, game. Why do you only have three slots? And I'm not even wanted. Oh yeah. Rage quit for the win. <laughs> it saves me from shitty trouble that I don't want. So we're going to search. Search. It's so stupid that if you like jump down here, you wouldn't survive. Why? Nico would survive, but this fucking horse just dies. Like Nico, Nico jumps off this with a bike, dude. Nothing happens basically. You just land. Streamer play classic. This is classic enough, isn't it? Nineteen. Or something, everyone says something different. It was already in 1907, 1910, 1911, and 1912. One of these years, not sure which one. Everyone says yeah. something else. I'm not taking the I never took the uh, the carriage, the, the, the coach before, so I never teleported back to places and stuff. So it's all classic. Classical. Who's the one who find the search? Search here, search. And before I can't start the mission because it's fucking night time. Can you get off the fucking horse? Thank you. In before. Imagine. Imagine unironically giving me a time frame. Ah, he's digging his grave. What is he fucking doing? What the fuck? Excuse me, are you Seth? Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name's Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. My boy. Moses. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. It's funny, this game actually... What I would do to him now! This game was made... Why? In the... Because he stole half my goddamn map! ...time era yeah, when... When map? my boy Partner. was a meme. The map that tells me where it is. Like, my boy was the friend? hot meme in 2010. I ain't you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, Partner! <laughs> it's mine! It's mine! All mine! Sure. Where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for it, soon. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Come on, Seth. Search. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Let's see. Let's you go see me. Moses. All right, 
Let's see more Zesh. Alright, 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 partner. What about that that dude? Oh whatever. Come on then, partner! Come on then, yeehaw! Slide, slide. Let's go! Oh, look at that speed. Just takes off. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talked to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Undead nightmare. I have that too, by the way. So after this, I might try it. As in, like, once I beat it. Once I got bored, maybe cage, once I got bored, I wouldn't want to play again. But we'll see. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. <laughs> Danica Passion. Man. You should get that hand looked at. <laughs> Seth, That's like I need the other person I know from NASCAR because she's a female. So you everyone knows her. Sure you even know <clears what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. Oh well, it seems like Danny Patrick is right behind there, John. Yeah, it seems like he, she's trying to take over. Oh yeah. I'm Hell yeah, she ain't no willy willy oh, bullshit down right there. Sometimes they That's right, when they Cletus. So, uh, Cletus, I heard you have some statistics about Danica Patrick. That's right! Danica Patrick's. The, she actually has parents that are not siblings. Wouldn't you believe that? She's a fine ass woman. <laughs> Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. What is Danica Patrick doing behind the wheel? She should be in the kitchen. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money. But now, I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me. You know? Ooh. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? No. I'm sure I can think of something. <sighs> Goddamn sheriff. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Steal a deputy's horse and become wanted. Oh, what if I don't want to be wanted? Wanted, dead or alive. What if I? What if I kill one of? Like, oh, whatever. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Yeehaw! Give me a few left turns. I'm gonna be fucking smoking. Come on. Oh, it's a left turn. Left turn right here. Oh no, this may have been not a good idea. But left turn, left turn, left turn. NASCAR racing, yeah! Oh shit, oh fuck. Rip. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Good bucket of fucking horse. Go, 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 go. Oh god, oh god, move, 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 move. Oh 
Ah, I did the ah, left turn. Ah. Is that good enough? What's my job? Do I have to like just Turn to Seth. Sitch. Turn it to search. I'll have to pay that bounty if I don't want to be aroused. When's NASCAR on PS1? I don't know, dude. I have NASCAR 08, I think, for 360. It's kind of an old one, but you know. He got my favorite racers! Can you believe that? That game actually has tracks where you turn. Uh, when you turn right, like what the fuck? All right. Come on, ain't no time to be so what do I do now? Good job getting rid of them clowns. Yeah. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Couldn't have you done it while I was like being chased, you fucking idiot? Moses? Oh, Moses. <sighs> Whatever. You got a visitor. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Sit. Ah. Rip. Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though. Need him alive, though. Leave me alone. Where is he? Okay, let's get a horse and then catch him. Come on! Get away from me! Oh fuck, I got him. Son of a bitch! <laughs> How does the fucking rope not get tangled like hell? God damn you! Let me go, I'm begging you! We'll split it between us, just me and you. You comfortable there? You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. Go! Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Sitch? Seth did sell his own mother. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah. up piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I wanna cut into a bona fide ah. man's flesh! Ah. Ain't never cut into a live ah. one before! <laughs> Odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. I just, <clears throat> I just realized it. This is Trevor's Deputy's grandfather. Waiting. Yes, yes. This Deputy's is Trevor's grandfather. Wait. Don't need the law on our his children died, but maybe his Don't children no had children. Here, maybe. You earned it for help me with both. No, wait. Uh, great grandfather. Trevor's great gran grandfather, because he's just as crazy. And Rockstar, Rockstar Games is, is a new conspiracy theory. This is uh, uh, Trevor's great grandfather. Um. Well, um, Tom, the reason is because uh, the, uh, the his, his go speak to that his, Okay, so his children, uh, they died, but they had children, and uh, they were fucking bored of the shitty fucking Wild West, so they moved up to Canada where it was colder and cooler, and they just lived there for a while. So like after that. 
um, <clears throat> uh, you know, they had children, and then uh, Trevor was born, and then Trevor went back to America, but originated from America. But they lived in Canada because the Wild West sucked. I had enough of being hassled around here. Master, hurry up, will you? Trouble, we got more important business to attend to. Can you shut the fuck up? Hello, Kyle. So, mister, thanks for your help. Uh, Seth already said that he lost worry, all his children. Thanks, Seth. Just help so he did have I'm children and wife no and problem, shit. Mister. So it's, it's all good. But they died, but they had children and they moved to Canada. And that's how Trevor was born. You're crazy, son of a bitch! Come on. There's a side mission here. Ah. I wonder what that is. That face. Oh, hey, they wonderful. Marvelous. Talk to the man. My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble, with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. That's it? Okay. Go on. Later. I guess there's a lot of things to do in this game. Kinda. Oh, there's the sh again. I like, can go do sh missions. <clears throat> Right there. Sha. Sure. Rich from the rim. Nigel West Dickens. Um Rio Bravo. www.riobravo.com.br Frot for the Mercedes. Okay, so this is like this what is this? Uh Choala Springs. Uh, I'm gonna go there later and check out this dude first, I guess. Oh, we're gonna meet him later. Oh yeah. Come on. What? I... I didn't even... Okay. Let's go. <laughs> 
Did I kill the first one? I have not yet cow, it's kinda sad, but yeah.
69, haha, <laughs> 69, the mouth, the mouth, memes, memes, memes. Almost done. We can almost become a NASCAR champion. Here we go. Ten, nine.
seven. Jeff Gordon, isn't that like the actor? Oh no, that's Jeff Goldblum. One! Alright, here we go. Oh. Wait, I think it's playing off the disc. Sh shut up! Shut up! Shut up, you waiter! E shut up, you water! E -A. EA Sports. It's in the game. Uh, EA HD. I'm Jeff Goldblum and this is EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, NASCAR, yeah! My mother is my sister. All right, HD, uh, HD compatible for optimal gaming. <laughs> oh, this is optimal gaming, dude. Can't wait for optimal gaming, dude. Please wait. Please wait. All right. Now you can see how you compare and uh, own the track. Man. Why don't we head over there and see how you stack up? She's gonna sign out. There we go. I'm gonna start from scratch. Would you like to enable auto? Hell yeah! This is kinda loud. Hey, I'm Jeff Gordon. Oh. I'm the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet. You are? And I'm going to be your mentor. Oh, that's experience. amazing, dude. The folks at EA Sports have been saying a lot of good things about you. <clears throat> Heard things like, this driver's the next Jeff Gordon. Oh. So you have a lot of hype to live up to. Oh, Don't for worry, real? I'll be here to help you become one of NASCAR's next superstars. Oh, my God. Thank All you, right, dude. Let's get started. Fucking this year, NASCAR's offering two unique driving experiences. Two! So the first thing you need to do is decide between normal and pro driving styles. Now I recommend that you start with the normal style. I recommend you shut the fuck up, dude. Time in a stock car? Go ahead, give pro a shot. We'll take your time, and I'll be back with you once you've made. Nah, uh, actually, do normal. Then... Oh God! <laughs> shut the fuck up! Holy shit! Like his speech was a little bit quieter than <laughs> that, that music. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, fucking Jeff is my buddy now. Jeff is my buddy, not yours. <clears throat> All right. Nice choice. I use that driving style from time to time myself. Why are you so quiet? I recommend that we head out to the track, see what you got. This is dangerous. After you've completed the race, you'll be able to switch driving styles just in case you change your mind. Since you All don't right, have dude. a ride yet, I'll let you give the number 24 car a spin. Oh! Uh, you bring it back. You're a good piece. dude. What a fucking bro. Okay, yeah, the problem is that the music is is like so fucking loud compared to good old Jeff that I I have to like turn it up when he's talking, but then the music comes on and it's like fucking eardrum blow. Nice choice. What? Oh. What? What? Nice choice. Why don't we go test it out in Michigan? You can bother my car! Oh my god, what a fucking bro you are, dude. Hell yeah. Let's go. Michigan. I hope there are only left turns. Hello, Oxy. Welcome to EA Sports. It's in the game. I 
I mean Red Dead Redemption. All right, let's run a race and see what she got. Oh, oh my God, he's such a fucking bro. He just goes like, you know what? I'll let you, I'll let you race instead of me, dude. You're like first time driving a NASCAR automobile. You know what? Just go ahead, fucking rip that car, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Let's run a race. I, I, I can't believe it. Fucking Jeff. He's my hero, dude. He's my fucking hero. All right. I even start from first position. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Now we're racing. What's the camera button? There we go. Oh, left turn. Oh, it's so good. There's no right turns, dude. Hoo hoo! Yeehaw! Dia! Dia! Get up, you know! Oh fuck! Yo, get the fuck out of here, M and Dems. I'm, I'm done. I'm not really a big fan. That was not my fault. That was not my fault. He slept. He slept on some M and Dems, dude. That wasn't me. That wasn't fucking me. Come on, he crashed into me. And then he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna fucking meme." That's not my fault. Pit under caution? No, dude. I'm good. I'm good. First place. All right. Where's my buddy uh, Dale and her junior? Oh, they think I am actually Jeff Gordon. I mean, it's hard to notice that I'm a fucking beast. You know, it's like they just think that it's him because I'm go so good. My favorite thing is when they explain the track and it's only the fucking left turns. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Oh, and they go like corner one. I'm like, dude, this is fucking four corners or like sometimes two. Oh, so good. So fucking good. They can't even get close. Oh, direct TV. Nice. Nice meme. Dude, stay behind me. www.pontopea24chi.com.br The BR part couldn't fit on the car. Such a shame. Alright. We only had to wait, like, what? A hundred years to play this? Hell yeah. Oh my god. How do you- No! Fuck off. This is my NASCAR World Championship! How many laps are there? Oh, seven. Okay, seven out of ten. Oh man. What if I accidentally turn right? What? Just... Imagine... Something just going wrong. www.jeffgordonfanclub Fanclub Fan <coughs> I think my brake lights are broken. Yo! Yo! Whatever the fuck your name is! How you doing buddy? Fucking Home Depot. Uh -huh. Home Improvement. Fucking... What's his face? I forgot the dude's name. Tim Allen. Yeah, that one. Uh -huh. Alright, we're controlling the race, dude. Oh my god, I can't believe Jeff Gordon is such a buddy, dude. He just, he's just like, you know what? You should race instead of me. Oh my god, I can't believe that I'm here driving. And they, they think I'm Jeff Gordon, too. It's fucking crazy. Like, they can't even tell. I'm so good, dude. So fucking good. I'm better than, than Rydog when he was playing NASCAR video. I think it was Rydog, right? Yeah. I think it was him. Garna, Garna. Dude. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Last lap. One more lap. My mother is my sister. Team Hillbilly in the first place. Dupont is du Dupont is like a like a supermarket or something. Yo, yo, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. Yeehaw. Fucking destroyed them. Celebrate. H hell yeah, dude. Yeehaw! Fucking break the car. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking game, dude. You can celebrate. Can you, like, get out and, like, fuck bitches? Drink Pepsi? Because they fucking drink Pepsi. They don't even drink, like, champagne, like, in Formula One. They are fucking bros. They need the, uh, the money from the, uh, the, sip, the, the, uh, sip, uh, what's it called? Um, sponsor, yeah, that one. Oh, look at this fucking, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh. Look at that shit. Let's, let's run over some people. Let's see if we can do that. Let's go into the pit lane. <laughs> Eat some dirt, bitches. Oh, come on, there's a fucking wall here. Uh, can I get out of this? I can't reverse? Oh, there we go. <coughs> it's worth it. Alright, turn around it. There we go. Let's go this way. Let's not do a burn now. Just go normally. Okay. Yo, not do... But, oh, I don't think it can go like that direction because it's too hard. Can you not do a fucking burnout? Just, just go normally. I want to go into the pit lane. Somehow. It's kind of hard with this camera, you know, because I have no fucking clue where I am. There we go. Okay, this is this must be the entrance. Alright. Dude, I'm not even pushing, like, full speed. It's just... Oh my god, it's like, like, oh my fucking god, I have like the, the analog stick, like, less than halfway in, and still does a fucking burnout. Alright. Looks like an old matchbox right now. Alright, so don't do a burnout. Very gently. Let's run over some people. There's nobody here! Oh, come on. Where's my shotgun? Alright, let's do some celebration here. No, don't... No, I, I don't mean... No, don't burn out! Fuck off! Okay. Let's turn around. Let's go backwards in the pit lane. I'm gonna celebrate my victory here. By dying. Alright, let's go. He's fucking up Jeff Gordon's car. And then it turns out it's not even him, and then he's gonna go to jail. <laughs> Dude, can you... Go! Oh my god. Come on. There we go. Okay. We're going. Alright, this is like... Oh, come on! Stop spinning out, you fucking... Can you not spin out, you fucking piece of shit car? Come on now. Alright, I need to go straight. There we go. Let's go. No! Fuck off! You fucking fuck car, dude. This car is so shit. Ah, Let's go. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up! No! Come on! I can't even crash into the wall and die. Ah, oh, whatever. 
I'm done with this. First place. Hmm, I like the taste of victory. Jeff Gordon. Sprint ahead. Oh man, what is it? Won a sprint cup race. Minimum of 11 opponents. No, oh, this is all good, dude. Yes. Normal driving model is fine for now. Where's my... Uh Where did I put the... Uh oh, there we go. Oh, what? Four. So we need to get your ride set up. The first thing we need to do is head over to the credentials trailer so we can get your information to NASCAR. This way, we can keep track of your rep because in NASCAR, reputation helps pay the bills. The higher your rep, the more opportunities will open up for you during your career. Your current rep level will always be displayed to you in this area right over here. What the so fuck? Make sure you keep an eye on it. What kind of audio balancing is this, dude? Like, um, your your current your current rep will be will be displayed here. Bing! And then, like, are you fucking serious? What the fuck? Oh my god! I need to change the audio settings. Like right now, just let me do that right now, dude. Like. Can you let me do that, please? Fucking fuck.
Ask Gordon. <laughs> There's a button. Ask Gordon. Uh, that's great. I don't want to because it might fuck up my thingy. Oh, come on, dude. Fucking Xbox 360 D-pad. Oh, I can just use the, the analog stick as well. There's more. Oh, come on! What is it? 199. I wanted to do 404. Fucking... If you have a computer, <laughs> she have a personal computer. <clears throat> what should the number be then? Between 100 and 199, that's so fucking gay. Um, I wish I could have the number four, but no. It's only between 100 and 199. That's just dumb. That's dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Hundred and ninety-three. Okay. So now we need to get your ride set up. Now remember, you need to use your created ride to earn rep. So make sure you use your driver and your car when racing. I want to change the fucking audio levels, dude. I, I cannot take it anymore. How do you do it? Uh, my NASCAR, I think. Like the weird, weird ages of EA Sports when they put shit like that in here. Oh god, it's so fucked up. Me Mario speech. Um. Speech. Okay. Let's turn these down. Maybe. I don't even fucking know. How is the music so low and then it's fucking deafening, dude? Whatever. Actually, let's make it like 30 or something. No, it's fine. I think this should be fine. Gordon Walt. Gordon Walt. Oh my god, look at, look at that sexy man. All right, we have your new credentials, so now we need to get your ride set up. Now, remember, you need to use your created ride to earn rep. So make sure you use your driver and your car when racing. That's it? Okay, so I need to go to the paint booth somehow. Um... See those banners up there? No. This is where you'll select your what series. What banners? Oh, All those you have ones. to do is highlight the Craftsman, Nationwide, or Sprint Cup banners, select it, and then move on to the next area. Yeah! Hey, Gordon, am I, am I poor and stupid enough to be a NASCAR racer? Alright, um, I don't know.
Hey, don't you touch the fucking card, you fucking fuck. <clears throat> What is this? I I don't see what's changing. Except for the reflection on the car. What the fuck? Specular. What? I don't whatever. No, no, no. The problem is I changed the volume just so I I don't get, you know, don't get my ears blasted, but now Jeff Bloom Bloom won't talk to me anymore. Um I'll try to sign in again. In a race now, there we event, go. you decide how you want to race. You can set the rules to your liking, change the field size, and even race as one of your favorite drivers. Like me, for example. <gasps> but remember, you'll only earn rep if you use your own car. Oh, Jeff. Jeff is such a fucking amazing dude. See those banners up there? This is where you'll select your series. I've All you have it. to do I've, is highlight the Craftsman, I've, Nationwide, or... I've already done it! I have a car! I have a fucking car! Where is Kyle does though sit? 190 What the fuck? Yeehaw! There we go. <clears throat> okay. So I can just use it, right? There we go. That looks like Kyle. This is son. Michigan. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESP. Rusty Dance Wallace. Car now. Hell yeah, dude. Rusty Wallace. And you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna tell us about the track. It's it's amazing. 
Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. Hey, we're at the Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan. This is a fast racetrack and is home with the big three automakers. So there's a lot of pressure on the teams and the owners. They all want to run really good here. So it's important to get our car handling good. Say, let me take you for a lap around this famed speedway. Here we go. Okay, down the front straightaway, approaching the start-finish line. Let's start the lap here at Michigan. Now, look, we want to keep the car way out against the wall. We're turning a lot of RPMs in our engine. The car really flies here. Okay, right to the bottom of turn one, hardly any braking. Let's keep the car about one lane off the bottom. That's the fast way around this racetrack. Okay, we're exiting turn two. We're tapering up against the wall. Now, look, the racetrack really falls off the banking big time right here. We've got to be careful. Okay, down the back straightaway, the RPMs are accelerating. The car is about 190. Miles per hour approaching turn three. This is a tough turn. Boy, the banking's kind of really weird here, and we have to stay about a lane off the bottom, also. But turn four, this is a fun corner. Man, we can just lay in the throttle. We're wide open. The track feels really, really wide here, and we're accelerating down this front straightaway. Okay, almost 190 miles per hour again, and here we go across the start finish line, and that's a lap at the Michigan International Speedway. Fuck me, dude. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. We're all the way up here at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway in Loud, New Hampshire. Hey, this is a fun racetrack to run on, and it's pretty flat. Look, it's banked a little bit less on the very bottom lane than it is the second lane. And so we got to be ready to use this whole entire racetrack. This is a great track. Here we go. We're coming down the front straightaway. We're getting ready to cross the start-finish line. Let's get this baby going. Okay, wide open down into turn one, hard on the brake pedal, right to the bottom of the racetrack. Okay, we're keeping her on the bottom. We're part throttle and we're off the brake right now. Okay, wide open on the throttle. We're getting ready to exit turn two. And it gets pretty slippery right here, guys. So get ready for that. All right, down the back straightaway. Now get ready for the toughest part of all, turn three. The banking angle is really different here. The car gets real loose. There's a big bump. It's really hard to negotiate. Okay, keep the car on the bottom of the track. Now we're about four foot off the bottom right now. Now, wide open on the throttle, <laughs> off a of turn four, and down the front straightaway. And hey, guys, that's a lap at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It's the most difficult part of the track. It looks exactly the same as the other one. Oh, my God. This is fucking golden. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm at the Phoenix International Raceway. And, guys, one of the oldest speedways in the circuit. Open wheel drivers have run here. Midget drivers, sprint car Mid drivers. Midget drivers. What? Wait, midget? Midget drivers? Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm at the Phoenix International Raceway, and guys, one of the oldest speedways in the circuit. Open wheel drivers have run here, midget drivers, sprint car drivers. Everybody loves this racetrack, including me. I've won here before. I want to take you a lap around this speedway. Okay, we're exiting turn four. We're coming down the front straightaway, and boy, turn one is a very tough corner. You got to stay out wide, but you got to get the car to the bottom of the racetrack also. Okay, on the bottom of the racetrack, we're part throttle, and now we're about a lane off the bottom. We're tapering up off of turn two, and look at that wall coming at us. Hey, a lot of drivers have hit that wall. Man, you don't want to do that. If you do, it puts you right out of the race. Okay, we just exited turn two, down the back straightaway, and the entry at turn three is so flat, very flat. Be careful. Be careful. Hold on to it. Okay, but get the car to the bottom of the track back on the throttle and now we exit turn four another really slippery part of the racetrack off of turn four we got some good momentum going down the front straightaway and across the start finish line and that's a lap at the famed phoenix international raceway uh, i fucking lost it when he said that many drivers have crashed into that wall ah uh. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. We're at the Pocono Raceway all the way up here in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. Hey, this is a great racetrack. We always refer to it as having three corners, okay? Now, here we go. I'm going to take you around this racetrack let you know what it's all about. It's a really tough speedway to get around, and you got to be ready for it. It's very, very bumpy, very, very slippery but very famous also. If you win here, you've really done something. Okay, off of turn four, we're coming down the front straightaway, and hey, this straightaway is so long, I used to land my airplane on it when I would come up here for test sessions. That's how long the front straightaway is. Okay, past the start-finish line, now we're almost 200 miles per hour. Guys, this track is very, very bumpy. 
We're going to fly down to the turn one right now, keep the car right on the bottom and hard on the brakes. A lot of braking. we got to get this car slowed down. Now we're jumping around. We're beating. We're banging. We're sliding. Boy, this track is rough. And we're coming off of the turn all the way against the wall right now, and we're getting ready to come down the famed tunnel turn. We always refer to it as a tunnel turn or number two, whatever you want to call it. That's what the drivers refer to it. Okay, here we are against the wall, way up against the wall. Now we're going to taper the car right to the very bottom of the racetrack, pick the throttle up real hard, and a lot of the cars slide off that bottom lane, and this is a great place to make a pass. Okay, we've just made the pass now. We're coming down the back chute. We're getting ready to enter the famed turn number three, and this is the last corner. This is going to set us up for the front straightaway to make some more passes. Okay, right on the track, right on the bottom. We're slipping. We're sliding. We're all over the place right now. Oh, look at this. We're just getting off a of turn three. Okay, down the front straightaway. We're carrying a lot of speed. We've made some passes back there, and boy, was it a slippery part of the racetrack. Down the front straightaway to the start-finish line, and that's a lap at the Pocono Raceway. And, man, this is a place, believe it or not, guys, they've had deer jump across the racetrack. And a long time ago, I hit a deer and tore my car to pieces. So you got to be careful about that, too. Enjoy the race. <laughs> what? Oh, my fucking God. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. We're at the famed Richmond International Raceway. Man, I love this place. I've won here seven times. This is one of my favorite racetracks to run at. Hey, let me take you for a lap around this famed speedway, let you know how to get around it. Okay, here we go. Past the start-finish line, right up against the wall. Now, look, the goal is to stay high. This is a D-shaped entry. Very tough to get in. Makes the cars feel real loose. Got to keep it right on the bottom, on the throttle. Okay, here we go. We exit turn two. Slip slide a little bit. The banking falls off really bad. Okay, down the back straightaway. Into turn three. The cars get real light, real loose feeling. Okay, we're right on the bottom of the racetrack, picking the throttle up. Use the whole racetrack up. Get all the way up against the wall. Here we go. Wind those RPMs up, and that's a lap at the Richmond international raceway <sighs> hey this is rusty wallace for espn's nascar now all right we're here at the talladega super speedway and man this is the fastest track in all of nascar 2.66 miles in length and it's just been completely repaved and it's fast and it's grippy and it's wide open no brakes nothing like that let's take a lap around this racetrack and see what it looks like Okay, past the start finish line, and it's all the way down close to turn one, unlike other racetracks. Okay, here we go, all the way down the front straightaway. We're going to go to the bottom of the racetrack, keep it nice and low because this track is so big, it's the shortest way around, and it's really going to show up in your lap time. Keep it right on the bottom. Now slowly let it taper out to the wall in the back straightaway. All right, we're gaining speed. We're approaching about 185 miles per hour because remember, we have restrictor plates here. If this track is so big, if we wanted to, if this thing was unrestricted, we can run over 230 miles per hour. I've done that in the past on a special test session. Okay, but here we are on the bottom of the racetrack, entering turn three. We're getting ready to exit turn four Wait. right now. Remember, we're right on the bottom. Right on the bottom. Shortest way around. Let the car taper out real gentle against the wall. No erratic moves in the steering wheel because we got a restrictor plate engine and it doesn't have much horsepower. We don't want to upset it. Okay, right to the bottom of the line, to the start-finish line. And remember, the start-finish line is way down the front straightaway. Closer to turn one and there it was and that's a lap around the Talladega Super Speedway wait wait they limited the speed to 180 like he said it's the fastest track now he says it's limited because it's too fast but like other tracks they go 190 and then this one is 180 and then like Going 180 and 250, you're still gonna die if it's gonna be an epic fucking crash. Like, whatever. Texas, hell yeah. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. Hey, we're at the famed Texas Motor Speedway all the way here in Fort Worth, Texas. Man, this place is fun. Let me take you for a lap around this racetrack. Man, I'll tell you what, I've had my struggles here. I've crashed, I've spun out, and then I've had some really good runs too. Okay, off of turn four, here we go. 
getting ready to start this lap and the start finish line is right here all right past it we're going to keep the car out wide right against the wall now look we are really flying not much brake pedal guys just a little bit of brake we don't want to slow this car down much right on the bottom of the racetrack we're picking the throttle wide open now we're getting ready to exit turn two be very careful right here the track really flattens out more than any track in all of nascar a lot of crashes right there okay down the back straightaway in the entry of turn three this is a great corner really fast right on the bottom of the racetrack we're picking the throttle up we didn't use hardly any brake whatsoever we're exiting turn four right now hey this is a d-shaped racetrack means the wall runs away so we can be in the throttle earlier and really get a good lap okay here we go to the front straightaway cross the start finish line and that's a lap the texas motor speedway this is an sgdq narrator that'd be interesting Oh, the, okay, guys. This is this this track is fucking crazy. It has right turns, right turns. What is this track? How did they get here? Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. We're at the Watkins Glen International Raceway, one of the road courses on the NASCAR circuit. Hey, I love this place. It's long, it's fast, and I've won here several times, so hey, that makes me like it. Okay, get ready, because this is a tough course. It's hard on brakes, it's hard on engines, it's hard on everything. And above all, we can't let the car get off course, because if we do that, we're going to lose the race. Hey, trust me, I've done that one in the past. Okay, here's the last corner. We're getting ready to go to the start-finish line right now. We're in second gear. Okay, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. All right, wide open right now. Hard on the brakes right now. Fourth gear to third gear to second gear. We're getting ready to enter the like fame turn number the cars one. Okay, look at this. Hard like on the braking. And there's some concrete there. we got to get on that concrete. There's a lot of grip. Okay, off of turn one, down into turn two. And turn two, this is where we enter the S's. Not much braking whatsoever here. Okay, up the hill. Okay, we're getting ready for a left-hander. Okay, here comes the left-hander. Hard left-hander right here, still on the throttle. Now we're in third gear, third gear at the very top of the hill. Okay, here we come down the back straightaway. We just grabbed high gear. <laughs> now, this is very fast back here. we got to get ready for the inner loop. It's coming up awful quick. Okay, down to third gear, <clears throat> down to second gear, hard on the brakes, a hard right-hand turn into the inner loop. Okay, keep it on the bottom of the racetrack here. Back in the throttle, out of the throttle, back in the throttle. Okay, here is second gear still. A lot of RPMs in the engine. We're keeping the right front wheel right against the ripple strips. Be very careful. Don't let the car get loose. Stay in the throttle. Stay in the throttle. Here we go. Okay, off that turn into third gear. Now we're coming down the back straightaway. Get ready for the last left-hander before we get to the start-finish line. This is very critical. I've wheel hopped and I've been off the racetrack here. A lot of guys do that. Okay, we're down in the second gear, right on the bottom. Wide open and throttle. We're spinning the rear tires. This thing is flying right now. Okay, get ready for the last right-hander. Right front wheel, right against the ripple strips on the throttle. We exit the last corner and right to the start finish line, and that's a lap around Watkins Glen International Speedway. How do the drivers even handle all these right turns? I don't get it. Like, like they must be like fucking scared to go on this track. Like some people might not even uh, want to take part in this. Atlanta. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, and I want to take you a lap around the racetrack, get you up to speed. All right, here we go. We're exiting turn four. We're tapering out to the wall. This is what you want to do. Carrying speed down the front straightaway, we're approaching the start-finish line to start this lap. The key here is to keep the car way out wide, like it is right there. Keep it on the bottom of the racetrack, right on the bottom of turn one, the shortest way around. We're picking the throttle <laughs> back up. Hardly no brake we use on the entry of turn one. Wide open off of turn two. Tapering out to the wall, and the car is going to start accelerating right now. Speed's almost up to 200 miles per hour. Keep it out wide. That's what you want to do. All right, now cut it down to the bottom of the racetrack. Keep it nice and low. Back in the throttle. Part throttle and off of turn four. Here we go. Now we want to taper out to the exit of turn four. Start finish line's right in front of us, so we're accelerating. We're picking up speeds almost 200 miles per hour again. Bam, and that's a lap at the Atlanta <clears throat> Motor Speedway. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm here at the Auto Club Speedway in Southern California. Let me take you for a lap around the track. All right, here we go, down the front straightaway, up against the wall, arcing down into turn one. On the brake right now, just a little bit. All right, back in the throttle, wide open, and keeping it nice and low. Now, this particular track, the racetrack falls off big time. The banking goes away on the exit or turn two. Be careful of that. Don't let the car slide out. All right, we're picking the throttle back up, coming down the back straightaway. Picking up the speed close to 200 miles per hour. This is one of the fastest racetracks we run in the NASCAR circuit. All right, on the brake now, just a little bit, not much brake. 
keep it nice and low again in the middle turn three and four. I think there's As we exit another... turn four, we're wide open back on the uh, throttle. We're going to let the front end taper out closer to the wall. Don't bind it up. Don't keep it too low. Like All right, up against the wall. Now we're accelerating again down the front straightaway. Keep it nice and low now by the start finish line. And that's a lap at the Auto Club Speedway in Southern California. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. We're here at the Bristol Motor Speedway, one of my favorite tracks. I've won here nine times. Let me take you around the track for a lap. All right, we're getting ready to exit turn four, coming to the start-finish line. All right, the goal here is to keep the car way out wide, then arc it to the bottom of turn one, hard brake, back in the throttle. Here we go, we're exiting turn two. Be careful, track really gets slippery right there. All right, accelerating down the back straightaway, hard brake again, right into turn three, Keep it on the bottom of the track, really nice and tight. Back in the throttle. We're exiting turn four, really gets slippery there, too. Oh, and that's a lap at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Now, guys, one thing you need to remember, this is a concrete racetrack. It's a little bumpy, so it's going to make the car move around and jump around more than you do with the other racetracks you run at. So just be ready for that, because Bristol, hey, it's a special place. He did, like, three laps during this Chicago land. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm here at the Chicagoland Speedway, and I want to take you for a lap around the track. Get you ready to start the game. All right, here we go. We're just about to start finish line. All right, now the goal is to keep the car real high against the wall. We are going to use a little bit of brake here. Okay, on the brake, off the brake, back in the throttle, keep it nice and low. Now look, this racetrack really tapers off big time off the Exeter Turn 2. And this is one of the only tracks in the whole NASCAR <coughs> circuit where it has an arced back straightaway. It's not straight. All right, we're coming down the back straight. We're getting ready to enter turn three. Break again. Keep the car nice and low. Pick the throttle up as quick as you possibly can. All right, we're keeping it nice and low, nice and low. Now the front of the car is going to taper out. Let's get back up against the wall. We don't want to bog this car down too much. Now a left-hand turn down to the bottom of the line, and that's a lap around the Chicagoland Speedway. Darlington. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm here at the Darlington Speedway, and I want to take you for a lap. This is a tricky racetrack. Here we go, the start-finish line. Wide open down the front straightaway. These cars are really going fast right here. Left front wheel right on the bottom of the racetrack. Pick the throttle up as fast as you possibly can. Now, look, we want to get way up against this wall, almost a foot off the wall. Wide open on the throttle, off the throttle a little bit. Now, we're right back on it. Now, we're coming down the back straightaway. And, guys, this is one tricky corner. you got to have some guts here. This car is got to be right dead up against the wall okay we clip the apron now let the car taper up against the wall right on the guardrail in fact a lot of the guys hit the guardrail all the time here at darlington all right we're exiting turn four down the front straightaway picking speed back up and that's a lap around darlington speedway and i'm telling you what guys of all the speedways we run this is one of the toughest it takes the most guts the car's got to be right against the wall in both corners so get ready Hey, this is Rusty Wall. Hey, this is Rusty Wallace for ESPN's NASCAR Now. I'm at the Infineon Raceway in Northern California. I this want to take you for a lap crazy. around this racetrack. Now get ready. This is the start finish line here, but we're getting ready to enter turn one. And man, this is a slippery part of the racetrack. You got to be really careful getting up the S's. This is a tough corner to negotiate. All right, here we go into turn two. Now, the right front wheel is going to touch the ripple strips. It really upsets the car. It makes it slide all over the place. Pick the throttle back up. You're in second gear. Coming down the hill, you're in third gear. Now, look, here's another corner. Man, I have wheel hopped right here and slid off in the dirt before. Back on the track now. Back down the straightaway. We're downshift to second gear, and that's a corner where we can make a pass if we had to. Now let's come down the back straightaway here. We're in second gear, third gear. All right, we're going to downshift the second. This is where I've wheel hopped before, landed in the dirt, and lost the race because I made a mistake right there. Don't want to do that. All right, here we do. We're in the S's coming down the back straightaway. Cars slipping and sliding all over the place. you got to keep it on the track. You can't make any passes through here. we got to stay on the racetrack but carry as much speed as we possibly can. We're in high gear right now, running as fast as we can anywhere in the track. This is the fastest part of the speedway. Now into turn 10. Now we're going to downshift to third gear. We're exiting turn 10 right now in third gear. 
carrying that gear ratio all the way down the back straight away here. Yeah, and I have this no idea, the Laurie. Money They're turning this right. This is where you do a lot of passing, right to the inside here. Okay, we made the pass. Good job, guys. Keep the right front wheel right against the bottom of the racetrack. Now we're going to come around the corner, accelerate. We're in third gear. We shifted to third gear, fourth gear, and that's a lap around the Infineon Raceway. This is Track Select. Here you can select the track and event you'd like to race at. Each track selection also contains a hot lap preview video to help familiarize you with the details of each of the available tracks. While on the select track screen, you can customize your racing experience by entering the race settings section. In race settings, you can set things like number of opponents, opponent difficulty, damage, vehicle wear along with a number of other items. Changing these race settings will also affect your rep modifier. So be careful. Hey. Hang on. Um. It takes a well-rounded driver to be successful in NASCAR. In the Sprint Driver Challenge, you'll have the opportunity to hone all your skills through a series of driving scenarios. Each time you beat a challenge, you'll be rewarded with rep and performance points. We'll talk about performance points a little later. So are you ready to get started? No. Now. Be warned, no, I'm not. you never know who you'll run into out there. But wait, I I remember like um, is this the right game or is it in another game? I remember like um, uh, fictional tracks, but like actual like city tracks and shit. But that may have been on PS2. That may have been NASCAR 08, maybe 09 on PS2, or maybe 10. I I had something on PS2. I forgot what it was, but does it not have that? God damn, I'm su I'm I'm disappointed. I wanted to do one of those. That ah, oh, that's probably on PS2 then. Well, which game did I have for PS2? I forgot. Hmm. What the heck was that game, dude? It's NASCAR or something that had like a city track at night. Welcome to the season area of NASCAR. Here, you can compete in any series on anything from a full season to just racing the final 10 races in the chase. Now you have the option to race with your driver or with your favorite NASCAR superstar. But remember, the only way to earn rep in NASCAR is to use your own driver. Dude, I have no clue which NASCAR game that was. Ah, uh, whatever, I... I gotta go now, unfortunately. It's getting late, and I'm tired. So... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll play more tomorrow. Although, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow, because, uh... There'll be like other stuff I'm planning to do, so we'll see. I I have no plans yet, no no like clear plans on what I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna go and uh, um Nobody streaming. I guess I'm just gonna host uh, KZ Free. So yeah, thank you for watching, and see you all tomorrow. Where we'll be? Well, there there might be some uh, Silent Hill in there. We'll see. Bye bye.